Hey, this is Mark Togo, Mark Togo RV Center, and we're in Cumming, Georgia. Well, we have worked with uh, Cindy Little with uh, uh, Faith in Serving Humanity out of Loganville, Georgia. And she approached us about uh, furnishing some RVs that they purchased. We helped them in, in that. After dealing with a couple of dealers, they felt like we was the dealer to deal with because we are helping everybody. We know what y'all have been going through. We've seen it on TV, we hear it on the radio, we hear people talking about it, it comes through town. So we are helping. What we're doing is sending four units up there for four families to live in. And I tell you what, we may fight on the, on the football field, the dogs and the wildcats, but I tell you, after the game, we're brothers and sisters. And right now we're coming together just to help y'all. And anytime we can be any help, if y'all just contact us. And at this time, we're gonna turn it over to Chris, and Chris is gonna do a walkthrough for the people that's using these. So if you have questions, because this may be the first time y'all are in RV, if you have questions, you can go back to the DVD and look at it on the operations of it. But also, you can always give us a call here at Mark Togel RV Center uh, in Cumming, Georgia. And I'm gonna turn it over now with Chris. He's gonna do the walkthrough. Hey, my name's Chris. I'm the service manager here at Mark Tuggle RV Center. I'm gonna show you guys a few things about your campers here that you're gonna be using. Right here, you're gonna have two 20 pound cylinders that will be full upon arrival. If you look right behind here, there's a little dial. Right here off of this is pointing to this tank right here. You can pull from one tank at a time, or you can pull from both, which is going straight down right here. If you pull from both, you're gonna run out at the same time. So I prefer, you pull from one, you run out, then you can switch over to your other tank with this pointer right here. Right here is gonna be a brand new 27 series battery here for your unit. This is what's gonna power the 12 volt on the inside of your unit. Then we'll come on around to the other side over here. This is gonna be your hot water heater. Your hot water heater can run off of electric and can run off of propane. Right here is where you're gonna turn it on with the on and off switch right here for the electric side of your hot water heater. You close that back up here. You'll go over to here. It's gonna be your stabilizer jack. So when you set up, you get everything level. You're gonna run these down until they touch the ground. Uh, it's gonna keep your camper from rocking back and forth. Uh, that'll be your side to side leveling. Here, if you have part cable, it's gonna come in and connect it right here as well. I'm gonna come on back to the back right here. Now here's gonna be your fresh water connection here. So if you're gonna uh, have water with you, carry water with you, this is where you fill it up with the water hose here. If you're gonna be where they're gonna provide water, this is where you're gonna hook your water hose up at right here. I, I recommend using a water pressure regulator that's not gonna let you exceed 50 PSI of incoming pressure to uh, keep from damaging your uh, internal plumbing. Right here's gonna be a 30 amp service right here for your uh, electric for your RV. Right here's gonna be an outside shower with hot and cold water on it as well. You're gonna be storage right back here. You can put your stuff that you're not gonna use every day in here, uh, it's easy to access. And then back here is gonna be, uh, you can fold this down. Uh, you can use this right here as a storage as well for the back side. Right here, if you wanna store your sewer hose right inside this bumper that plug comes off you put your sewer hose inside here put your cap back on you're good right here is going to be where when you hook up uh, this handle right here is going to be for your black tank which is going to be for your toilet this handle here will be for your gray tank which is going to be for sinks and showers I prefer to once you get about two-thirds full on your black tank you're going to pull this handle right here with your sewer hose connected down to your termination valve uh, once that's empty, pull your gray tank. Helps flush everything out of your, your hose. Uh, you don't have a uh, little cleanup. Now you close the door here. Here's gonna be the rear entry to the bathroom of, on the, your camper here. So if you got kids that have dirty feet and don't want to run all the way through, this is where I would let them in at right here. We we'll close that back and we'll come on to the front of the camper. There's gonna be your awning arms here. Uh, if you got it out and it's 
raining, uh, uh, high winds, you might want to roll it in to keep from, from damaging your awning. You pull this down here, you shut that tension screw, and then all your water would drain off of this end right here. You'll tight, uh, loosen that up for storage, let it pop back open. Once you have dumped your black tank, this is on the opposite side of your camper. Once you have dumped your black tank, you can hook your water hose up to here to help flush everything out that might not have come out uh, when you pulled your handle the first time. Just rinse uh, for probably a minute, minute and a half, pull your black handle on the other side. Repeat that, you see nothing but clear coming out. Right here is gonna be your exterior speakers. So you listen to your radio inside or outside. Right here's where your TV will go right here. Your cable connection for your TV. Right here's gonna be your power connection. Right here's gonna be your outside, uh, outside kitchen area here. You have an ice maker, you have to add your own water to it. Uh, you have a, another outside shower here, hot and cold water on it. Here's gonna be your grill. Uh, I recommend using a, uh, a pan to cook on here. Uh, that way you don't have as much clean up because all the grease is gonna drain out the bottom. You got a quick disconnect right here that will feed right out of the bottom. And then it comes around and connects to right here. Once you connect that, there's a little valve on the other side you need to pull forward and that's got the gas flow going to your outside kitchen now. You have a little safe, red safety flag, make sure that is engaged when you have this out. That way, when, if it closes, you can't, uh, <clears throat> this, it's not gonna allow it to close with the flame open. And right here is gonna be an outside refrigerator here. Uh, the only way this is gonna work is if you're plugged up to 110 power. Then we'll close this back up. Now right here is gonna be your furnace. Be mindful of here, if you store stuff out underneath it, don't put anything right up against it because this will get warm. And then here is the entry door to your camper here. Each one of these legs is independent. You pull it out here, there's a release button right back behind it. You hit, you pull back down and they will, each one of those will adjust independently. Right, and I'm going to go on inside in here now. Now right up here is going to be the control panel for the inside of your RV here. Right here is where you're going to turn water pump on. Uh, if you're hooked to city water, you don't need the water pump on. So the uh, only time you're going to use that is if you're running off of your holding tank. Right here is going to be the propane side of your hot water heater. Flip that switch on. You don't see a... You see a, a Tank fault up here. That means that it did not ignite. Turn it back off. All right, then here, here is gonna be your slide in and out right here. Right here is gonna be your awning, extend and retract. Once your awning goes out, you'll see a little, little tab or little screen. It's gonna come on the outside of it. Right out here, you'll see a little flap that's gonna come down. That's gonna show you that's where you're gonna stop with your awning. There is your sign to stop right there when you see that little that little uh, sunscreen come down on the outside out there. All right, now we can come back to a little more on the inside. But right here's gonna be your radio, what radio here. <laughs> All right. Now here, you can turn your speakers off on the inside. Now you're just gonna listen to exterior speakers. Or you can turn those off, just listen to interior speakers. Right here's your volume, right over here is your where you search for your channels right here. I'm gonna turn that off so we don't have any background noise here. All right, and then right here's gonna be for your fireplace. Right here's the remote for your fireplace right here. Uh, you can do it. Over here, you can set it as a thermostat where you can do your heat or you can just do it for effects, whichever way you prefer. There's your low setting and high setting. And uh, then you got your backlighting where you can change the lights on it. And then right there, it's gonna be off. 
Then we will come over here to your stove. Be mindful if well, after you've cooked, don't fold the glass back down because that is tempered glass and it will shatter if it gets hot. Right here is going to be where you turn your gas on right here. The ignite right there. You do. You got three burners. Then there, there's going to be off. There's going to be your button for your lights. And for your oven here, you may have to prime this thing right here probably 10 or 15 times. So you hold that in. There, you have a pilot light right over here and you can see it in the back. That's going to be your pilot light. Hold that in for about 10 to 15 seconds. You let go. And there you have oven now. All right, we'll turn that back off here. Then we'll go into your refrigerator. Here's your travel position for your refrigerator latch here. Fold that over to open it. Here's going to be your refrigerator, your temperature settings on the inside. We've set it on four right now. Uh, if you want to change that, you feel it's getting too cold, and you come on down here, that's where you're going to change that at. And your, your freezer, right here is going to be your setting for your freezer right here. Colder, colder. This is all the way over to the coldest right here. And this is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's going to run off of your battery or your converter after you're plugged up. And down here is going to be your power distribution panel. Right here is all of your 110 side here. This is all of your 12 volt side. If you have a 12 volt fuse that blows, it'll have a little red LED light over here to let you know, hey, I'm the one that's blown. Uh, you'll need a 30 amp. And 15 amp fuses should take care of anything you have in here. These are reverse polarity fuses. If your battery ever gets hooked up backwards, it will blow those fuses to keep from damaging your converter. Uh, that should be all you need to know in there. And we will come right over to here. This digital gauge right here is telling you what your battery voltage is. At current state plugged in, that's what you should be seeing anywhere from 13 to 13.6. Right here is going to be your battery disconnect. So if you want to disconnect, uh, if you're going to store it and you're not going to use it, this right here, turn that off, pull your key out, and it keeps the brand in your battery. And then we will come right over here. This down here is a carbon monoxide detector, CO2 detector. If this starts beeping, going off, it's telling you, hey, it's warning you, you might have a possible uh, gas leak, evacuate until you can. Uh, until you can evaluate the situation to see if it's something that you need a service technician for or what may be going on with, with the propane. And right over here is gonna be your thermostat. Right here, right, it's on heat right now. I'm gonna show you the different options you have here. All right, that is off. Go here for your AC. You're gonna to wanna to run it on low auto or high auto. Then you're going to go back here. Your next step is heat, and that is off. So that is how you operate your thermostat. Uh, a lot of these lights inside here are going to be push button lights. So, if Jada would take a video back this way and she would show you which lights come on and off with the switch. Those are all on the switch right here. The rest of everything else in here is push button. You have to turn it off with the center of the light right here. Right, and over here is going to be your jackknife sofa. You've got storage area up underneath here as well. You pull this out. There, there's your bed. Uh, you're going to push it back. Just put it right here. Push that back, and it comes back down. You got storage back here for blankets and whatnot as well. Over here is going to be your storage up underneath these. Lift up the face of it first, and then pull out because there's a block nailed on behind here for storage for travel purposes. And that slides back in. Now to turn this to a bed, this right here comes up. It's right in here. I just fill in the rest with your cushions and there's, there's your uh, double bed here. To put it back together and to uh, get the table up here your legs back in. And there's your table back together. Now here is your 
uh, to get up on top of your bunk is right here, but be mindful if you're going to roll the slide in, look here first so you don't damage your ladder. Then we'll come on into the bathroom here. you got one GFI outlet here. If you notice there's some not working in your camper, here's going to be your reset. So here's your light switch on and off in the bathroom. Right here is your exhaust fan. Pull down on the tab. Rotate it up. You got four settings. There's your settings there. You can have it down as well, which will reverse and blow air down on top of you and move air around a little bit, or you can turn it off. Now right here with your toilet, halfway down, fill, all the way down is flush. The more water you keep in it, the less less cleanup you're going to have. And then here's going to be your, your uh, hot water, cold water for your shower right here. Your faucet head up here where you can turn your faucet on or off. And I think that's that I should about cover it. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call here at Mark Tuggle Center, 770 205 0242. Thank you very much. Well, Chris has already done the walkthrough, so we hope this will bring some happiness and some joy into y'all's hearts. And we just want to say one thing. We, we may not be up there with you, but our hearts, our prayers are with each and every one of y'all up there each day. And uh, if anything we can ever do, just give us a call. And, you know, we all know who to turn to, and that's God, and, and he, he's got this covered. So um, just God bless each and every one of you. We love you, and God loves you. Thank you.